It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. The way forward is decided. We protect Prince Roland with our lives and drive Esfrost from our home. Aha! Have we no choice but to retreat? Master, we prevailed. Ugh! They are strong. This is more than simply the advantage of terrain. Retreat! All companies, fall back at once! <laughs> Look at him turn tail and run! And we didn't even need that damn contraption! It is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we take another path? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. The way forward is decided. We have no choice but to follow Sorcelay's demands and bring the salt to Esfrost. It is time to cast our votes. Do we reveal that it is Roland behind the mask, or do we keep his identity a secret? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. The way forward is decided. The only way to win Svarog's trust is to reveal Roland's identity and begin negotiations. It is time to cast our votes. We face a difficult decision. Do we surrender the Roselle living in our domain to Hyzant, or do we defy their orders? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. The way forward is decided. The Roselle are our people. We must shelter them even if it earns us Hyzant's ire. It is time to cast our votes. We have three options before us. Return to the Wolfort Domain, depart to the Rosellan village, or stay in the capital. Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. The way forward is decided. We return to the Wolfort Domain with Benedict and inform Father that we have reclaimed the capital. I understand each of you keenly, my friends. You have not arrived at these decisions lightly, and I do not doubt your convictions. Yet choosing any of the options before me risks creating a schism among the others. I cannot afford to lose any of you. Not after how far we've come. Which leaves me only one option. Nay, I mustn't give in so readily. There must be another way. One that will bind us together, not tear us asunder. 
Now then, to find it. Certainties first. We cannot afford to relinquish control of the salt crystals to any one nation. Salt necessarily belongs to the people, and on that point I shall not waver. There must be a way to bring about the lasting peace Roland desires without the need for Hyzant's warped teachings. Hyzant <sighs> moves to take the Grand Norzelian mines as I contemplate this. It must be stopped. They will no doubt make an ostentatious show of power in an attempt to intimidate us. What's worse, they'll soon be at our door, and we will not defeat them with our army alone. Surely there's a way we can hold them off. The wildfire! Of course! We'll draw them into the village and set the vast majority of their forces alight. The Hierophant will never relent, however. Hyzant will bear down on us with the full force of their army. We've no chance of winning a protracted war. Hyzant must fall, and quickly. We need Esfrost. We need the Death Snell. Tis the only way we'll pierce the Goddess's shield. I hardly relish the thought of asking Gustadolf to come to our aid. He'll no doubt demand the salt crystals in return. Who might help us get our hands on that weapon? Lord Svarog, yes! He's fortified alongside us. It's time he made good on his word. We share a common enemy in Gustadolf. He'll be a boon! There is still the matter of how we invade Hyzant and incite the Roselle to rebel. Yes! We'll blast away the statue and reveal Hyzant's lies for all to see. If the Roselle and legends are true, an enormous pillar of salt rests within the goddess's statue. Revealing that will prove that the Roselle spoke truth all these years. Goddess and Hierophant alike will lose all claim to authority, leaving them open to a revolt from a united Roselle. And now we have the means to make the explosives that will bring Hyzen to its knees. Just one problem remains. How will we manage to pass through the Goddess's shield? No banner could pass into Hyzant without arousing suspicion. Unless... Unless they've no banner at all. The Consortium, of course! One glimpse of the Salt Crystals ought to bring Claris to the table. So long as I play to his self-interest, the rest will follow. I have it. I've found a way to give everyone what they want most in one fell swoop. The salt crystals will belong to all, and not just a privileged few. The people of Norzelia will finally be lords and ladies of their own making. Masters of their own destinies. Benedict's fervent desire to protect the Domain's integrity. Roland's yearning for equity. Frederica's resolve to free her people. I hear you all, my friends. You're not alone. Nor are the countless others who look to me at this late hour. If ever there were a time to heed my father's last words, it is now. I must forge my own path and lead my people. The scales cannot save us this time. The words of my closest confidants have revealed a way forward that the Scales never could. All that remains is to convince them to follow me down the path I have made. 
As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world.